So who are we here with today? I am Ryan Cecil. I'm with Homepage Realty. And Ryan, have you ever flown in an FPV drone before? No, I don't even know what those words mean. That's perfect. <laughs> and uh, so what qualifies you to be in the seat today? I'm awesome. And I'm a real estate agent that loves the South End community. And we are here at gorgeous Farnsley Mormon Landing. And we are going to show you guys what's out here. Perfect. Well, let's get into it. <laughs> here we go. All right. Well, I thought it was going to... Oh, i got to turn on my controller first. That might help. Here we go. All right, we fly. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that's weird. Whoa. Oh. So, this Ryan. Yeah. We hey. are we are in it. Um, we'll start off with... Uh, we're going to just hit you with them. Let's go. Um, what is your most controversial opinion or unpopular opinion that you have? Oh, what? Yeah, so I mean, you can you can get deep with it. You can get, or like you know, mine is uh, Canes is better than Chick Fil A. So like, you know. oh oh gosh, I'm not a very controversial person, honestly. So I don't know. I would venture to say that the South End of Louisville is better than any other area in Louisville. Ha! Okay, yeah, that'll <laughs> that, <laughs> that'll start that'll some get controversy. Some. <laughs> what is um what's like a, a weird obsession that you have um of like something you're addicted to or something oh my gosh. that would not be normal? Well, I don't know if it's normal or not, but nerd glum gummy clusters. If you have not had those, like I am addicted to those right now. I am going to blame that obsession on one of my TikTok realtor friends, Kristen. She got me obsessed with nerd gummy clusters while we were on our last TikTok retreat. Oh, we're going in circles. That's amazing. I freaking <laughs> love those gummy clusters. I got some for Christmas for the first time. I ate the whole bag. Yeah, I ate the whole bag in one thing. Like your mouth is raw afterwards. It's like <laughs> yeah. wild wild <laughs> oh so this is so bizarre what uh what's one thing in your life that you wish you would have said yes to more of um oh gosh everything i feel like you should try everything like once like you you should just say yes and if you hate it then it's not for you um i wish i would have like yeah that that's basically it okay i i get you on that one I, for okay. sure um, I'm not very great at answering questions, am I? No, you're doing, you're doing fantastic. <laughs> Are you uh, feeling any type of queasiness or anything yet? No, this is just crazy. I'm not. I'm not queasy just yet. It's uh, it's pretty wild to um, just to see things from this point of view. It's not a. It's not a point of view that most people get to see things from. So. Yeah, I um, I, I shoot a lot of pictures here. Cause, you know, I'm not only a real estate agent, but I'm a photographer too. So I love coming here. Farnsley's beautiful, especially like in the spring and the summer. So seeing it like this is pretty cool because normally I'm just on the ground shooting pictures of people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we can, there's all kinds of stuff that we can do up here. Oh yeah. Um, so, okay. So you said you're a realtor. Yes. Realtor. Um, what? You said realtor. It's realtor. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I was homeschooled. So, um, I'm also going to bring this in real quick. Like I do it all the time. And drop a new battery in it. Um, so how did you get into it? So, fun story. Am I getting, I'm still going, right? Yeah, you're still good. So, I, um, in 2020, I was a warehouse and logistics manager, and I um, worked for the company for seven years. I was upper level management, and then I lost my job because of my TikTok account in 2020. Um, just, you know, I didn't do anything crazy on there, but I wore my company work shirt and my videos, and apparently that's was grounds for termination even though i think it's stupid um so i got my real estate license in february of 2021 and i've just been rocking it ever since i love it i love the people aspect of it i love meeting new people and finding them homes and that's kind of how i got started and i documented my whole journey on tiktok and on social media and it's really helped my business and last year i, I sold 80 units and um, closed out at about $11.4 million. So not too bad for my second year in real estate. Yeah, no kidding. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> what, um, okay, so I mean, you lost your job because of your TikTok. Like, whenever you were going through that, where, where is it? I mean, it's obviously scary to lose a job, but did you have an idea of what you wanted to get into or 
Um, did you just chill for a little while? Like what was that experience and that thought process? Yeah, so I was actually already working on my real estate classes because my sister's a real estate agent. And I was like, well, I'd love to, you know, do this like kind of as a side hustle with her. And so I was already working on my real estate classes. So once I lost my job in August, I just kind of took the rest of the fall off and focused on that, finished my photography season. And I was just like, I'm not going to work for somebody else that could do this to me again because I was devastated. I honestly, I loved my job. I loved my employees. I thought I was going to retire from that company. And when that happened, I was just so devastated. But I was like, I'm not going to let another corporation do this to me again and determine my pay and and things like that. So I just kind of hit the ground running. And when I got my license, I documented everything on social media and TikTok. So immediately when I got my license, one of my friends called me and they're like, hey, will you help me list my house? And I'm like, hey, yeah, awesome, let's do it. <laughs> and that's it's just so been steady cool. ever since. That's freaking awesome. Um, especially that like, you know, you built that community around you and stuff and they were there to support you um, the second that, really that you needed them to. Yes, 100%. Um, which is which is a big deal. I'm just gonna check real quick. You still good in the goggles? Yeah. Okay. And, and it's crazy because like TikTok has brought so many great things to my life. Like, um, I've met so many awesome people. Um, me and Daryl Isaacs are like super besties right now. Like, I love him. He reached out to me through TikTok um, when he was starting to build his social media. So, and you know the brand deals that I've gotten and just like meeting people from all over the country. It's been it's been awesome. I love it. That's so cool. And and that was. What, what made you start posting on TikTok? Like, what was bored it? Bored in the house. I was bored in the house in 2020. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically, I just, I got it because it was, I was bored. It was COVID. I just randomly started posting silly videos. And then my account started to pick up. And once my account started to grow, I think that's when my corporate job, they were like, well, we don't think this is going to work for us. We don't think your management material. But then again, at that point, TikTok, wasn't what it is now like people thought it was just like a dancing app for like kids and stuff like that and i, I never used it like that i just used it as kind of like a, a journaling my day kind of being an idiot and it's it it's awesome it's changed my life and so with that changing your life what would you say to someone who is I don't know. I feel like a lot of people have great ideas for things or they want to start social media or something, but they're just too scared to. Um, or they just think, you know, people aren't going to watch it or anything like that. Like, do you have any advice for someone who is teetering on like committing to doing social media stuff? Yeah, just do it. Just be yourself, be authentic. Like on my TikTok, I don't post a lot of real estate content. I'm trying to a little bit more so people do realize I'm a real estate agent. But most of the time, it's just me being myself, being silly, being relatable. Just especially if you're trying to get people to know like and trust you 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 just want to be yourself and you can literally post anything as long as yourself that's going to resonate with people and it's 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 going to make people want to follow you and be your friend yeah that's absolutely huge oh we're gonna bring it in again Wait. okay right. so you are um very involved in the South End and very much so a supporter of the South End of Louisville. Um, and I feel like <laughs> growing up in the South End my whole life, the South End always gets a bad rap. Like what, they do. what made you, other than it just getting a bad rap and it not being bad, like what made you want to just push so hard and show so much love to this community that otherwise doesn't really get much love? Well, I live here. So, I mean, I live, work, and like breathe in the South End. So, I feel like a lot of people that have never been out here, they don't know all of the good things that we have and they don't know how tight knit our community is. And so, I knew that when I started my real estate career, that I really wanted to be a presence in my community. I wanted to do things in my community. And that's just kind of what I've been doing. I want to highlight the, the awesome things about the South End, showcase local small businesses, which we've done kind of with the South End Hustlers. And then I'm taking on a new endeavor this year um, where I'm going to be interviewing schools and like family establishments and like bringing light to like the great schools that we have in our area. And just, woo, that was dizzy. Uh, just like, you know, like Farnsley Mormon Landing or like Sun Valley Golf Course and the park over there. So we're 
trying to spotlight these areas that we have out here in the south and that a lot of people just don't know about. Yeah, and I, I think that's awesome, uh, especially like um, whenever I moved out to the south end, um, even further into it than what I already was, a lot of people are like, why are you, why are you moving out there? Like, why, why on you're so far away from everything? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Everything I need is right it's here. Right here. Like, <laughs> there's, I, I just, so many people were like, why, why would you go out there? And I mean, all my friends obviously want to live like downtown and in the Highlands and stuff, but I'm like, no, I love my South End people. Yes. Like, it's, it's where it's at, honestly. Our community is awesome. Like, so we put on the, the Light Up Valley station this year, which is a huge, which was a huge, huge success and we've got um we're trying to plan other events like through this year and of course we're going to do light at valley station bigger and better this year so we're just really trying to highlight the good things out here bring more community events and bring people together more as a community and i'm i love being a part of it that's so cool yeah i uh it, it definitely is whenever you started um I know posting a lot about South End stuff, like it was just really cool for me as someone who's lived here and heard all the things about it and stuff to be like, wow, someone is truly just like wanting to love on this community and bring so much attention to it. Whereas I just feel like there hasn't been that voice for this end of Louisville. No, there, ha there hasn't been. And like, I actually just joined um, the Southwest Dream Team Board. So I'm really excited to see how I can help out on that air like in, the, in that board and what I can do with them to help bring more good things to the south end so I'm just trying to get involved as, as much as I can and show love to my community yeah absolutely and that's huge and I feel like I don't know I, I can just see through tertiary um, seeing your engagement and the things that are happening and stuff just how much impact this has um, that you've had on the community and so it's super cool to, oh, to be able to just see that and stuff. I have a lot of help like I, I, I we, ha we have formed like this really awesome little group that helps put these put these events on and helps plan because like I'm one person and I can't do it on myself so I've thankfully you know we've got some help and I think it's only gonna get bigger and better. Absolutely. Well, this is uh, all the battery that I have left in this one, and, and that's going to be all the packs that we're going to do today. Um, <clears throat> you can remove your goggles, but... Oh, oh Lord. How was that for you? I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> I'm a little dizzy. Whew. Yeah, little that, was, that was bizarre. Like, yeah, I, I went to... Um, what is it the main event and i did one of those virtual reality things and i thought that i was going to throw up so it wasn't as bad as, as that was i guess because it didn't have the jostling thing yeah. you're sitting in that thing but no that was crazy that was pretty cool well that's awesome well uh tell everyone on my channel where they can find you and your social medias and stuff all right y'all i am ryan cecil on tiktok instagram i am best louisville realtor and um yeah go follow me and watch the fun because i'm just kind of a hot mess over there and i'd love to have your support <laughs> perfect well thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this content go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe hit that bell if you're so inclined to do so and i'll see you in the next one thanks guys